Sheffield, Tasmania. They must be here somewhere. Yeah, they must. The man at the petrol station said, go to Sheffield, it's full of murals. He definitely did say that. Ed, you don't think we must heard the man at the garage, do you? No. No, 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 no. He definitely said, go to Sheffield, it's full of murals of all different shapes and sizes. And I'm none too fussy when it comes to a mural, Michelle. I'd fall in love with her, no matter what her shape or size. Well, that may be, but this town's full of murals. You know, paintings on the side of walls, like this one and that one and this one. Oh, yeah. Maybe Muriel painted them. Oh, I love an artistic lady. 25 years collecting. 60 in the collection. Julian is Mural Man. This is the town of Sheffield in Tasmania, and over the last 25 years, it's become a massive outdoor art gallery. With 60 different murals to visit, you never know what you'll see next. Time to meet Mural Man, Julian. So, can you tell us a bit more about the outdoor art collection? When was the first ever mural? Well, the first mural was uh, painted by John Lindis in 1986. And it's called uh, Stillness and Warmth. And it was a fun way of uh, bringing the town alive. What a lovely... Is this a zoo or a house? How long does it take to, to do a, a mural? Well, depending on the size, um, we do the mural fest and the artists are allocated five days to paint a mural. So anything bigger than that obviously takes a bit longer. Yup, this town loves murals, so much so that every year it has its own mural fest. Nine artists take part and the winners are decided by judges and a public vote. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one too. Oh, I want to vote for them all. So which one costs the most to make? Well, this one right behind you here. This one was uh, around about $16,000. Wow, that's just under £10,000. Yes, yes. That's a lot of money for a wall. Yes, but it uh, has a lot of detail involved with it, and as you can see, it's um, quite a big painting. Right, well, whilst we have a look at some more of the murals, I'm also going to keep an eye out for some murals as well. So is it all right if we do this on our own? Because I don't want you cramping my style. Yeah, I wish you luck. Great. <laughs> Cheers, Julian. Cheers. Yeah. There are murals on the sides of shops, cafes, town walls, pretty much anywhere that you can paint one. But most of them are in the well-named Mural Park. Uh -uh. This is where the Mural Fest competition actually takes place. You can wander around and see what tickles your fancy. This one's too surreal. This one's too weird. And this one's just right. Ah, get it, a Goldilocks joke. After you've had a look, you get to vote for your favourite. Well, I know my favourite. I wonder if there's any prizes for getting the winner. Did you mention prizes? You know what that means it's time for, don't you? Tasmania's got murals! The rules are simple. I'm going to ask the lovely Michelle here a question about murals. If she gets it right, she wins a mural. Painted by mural man himself, Julian Bale, and she can take it out. But, but hold on a minute, I mean, the, the whole thing is just too big. I'd never get it in my suitcase. I mean, I don't... Question one! Can you name this brown, stripy animal featured in this mural? Well, yes, uh, uh, it's a Tasmanian tiger, also known as a thylacine. It was a marsupial dog, which is sadly now extinct. And I think I'm right in saying that in this picture, it's going face to face with an angry Tasmanian devil in front of Mount Roland. Oh, it is a Tasmanian tiger. But unfortunately, you didn't give me his name. His name is Bob. Bob, the Tasmanian tiger. Th don't worry about forgetting his name. He, he won't mind. He's extinct. Zero points. Question two. And remember, you could win this mural. It's of Sheffield's first school, opened in 1867. It's the oldest building in the town and is currently an ice cream shop. So my question to you is... Will you get me a vanilla cone? So that's the question. You want me to get you a vanilla cone? Yes, get me an ice cream. Well done, Michelle. You successfully got me a vanilla cone. Unfortunately, you didn't do it in the allotted time, and I'm going to have to disqualify you from winning that prize. Still more points! Disqualified! I'd like to say I'm sorry, but I'm not. This is so unfair! Here, take your stupid cone! Oh, thank you. 